Well, here I am just before the start of racing and I've caught up with the team manager of Monster Energy Kawasaki. It's none other than Mike Fisher. Mike, welcome to MX TV, mate. Hi, thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about your background, how long you've been with Kawasaki and how you got to this position. Well, I started out racing motocross like, uh, you know, it's in my blood. I love it. I raced from 1985 to 95 as a pro. When I retired, I went into development work. I started out with motocross and uh, with the company, I started doing jet ski work, ATV work, uh, street bike stuff and cruisers and things like that. And uh, then kind of took care of our US product behind the scenes with R&D. And then uh, I think that's three years ago, got the call to, to the race team manager and uh, I took over and uh, I've been there since. Was it a bit daunting to you to say, now you're gonna be a team manager with the way that the riders are, you know, from what you would have seen? When I quit racing 10 years before, a lot of things have changed. I mean, like there was just a few rigs. And so now it's it's big time, you know, and we're, you know, stepping into a new era. Supercross has stepped up. There's a lot more exposure. So that means a lot more money, a lot more sponsorships and a lot more things to do to keep those sponsorships around and, and invite those sponsors to be here. And I think also the riders themselves all have agents now. And before there weren't, there was just, you'd talk to their dad or them or, their buddy, they'd come in and that's how you did your deal. What is some of the benefits or the highlights of being a team manager? There's a lot of ups and downs, I can tell you that. <laughs> but uh, I think motivating everybody, seeing the, I mean, we're here with a, a tons of people. I mean, there's so many people, a lot of kids, a lot of adults and older people that really enjoy riding and enjoy racing. And looking in here, they're, I don't know if they're envious, but they just really think it's cool to see all this stuff. And of course, it makes me happy to see those kids and gives them kind of a dream or, wow, that was really cool. And What's probably been the most difficult rider that you've had and why is that so? I, I don't think anybody's been really difficult, really. I mean, James Stewart, is I think difficult because he's James Stewart you know there's a lot of expectations and you know they haven't been you know always perfect for him and that's always hard to deal with just overall I think he's probably more difficult but mainly I think Chad Reed would be more difficult than somebody else or you know Ricky Carmichael is probably a little more difficult because they're expected to win every time you know my job is to take care of everything you know the staff the truck the whatever we make the team as strong as it can be and the riders when they come here They'll want to come here because our team is so strong, our bike is so good, and we're able to adapt very quickly. That's, to me, that's my goal, and I want to always strive to keep them at the top. 